Hello fellow audio nerds, I'm Steph and this is Major Hi-Fi. So as wireless technology gets better and better, I've been curious about truly wireless earphones. And in reality, almost all of the ones that I've tried haven't been as tight as the Apple EarPods in terms of functionality. Well, this past week, I got a chance to spend some real time with the RHJ True Connect truly wireless earphones. And honestly, they totally exceeded my expectations. So let's go back in time. I'll share with you my first impressions and then I will meet you right back here for my overall thoughts. All right, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to my place. So today I've got with me the RHJ True Connect. So let's see what's inside the box here. All right, so as you will see here, we've got the the actual earphones themselves here. There's a plethora of ear tips. There are three different sizes of foam, six different sizes of the silicone. Got a charging cable. It charges via USB-C, so it charges pretty quickly. Some documentation, and then of course the charging case. Now, as for the look of these things, um, I really like them because they're super simple. Um, they're not crazily big. They're a really sort of moderate size. Um, and yeah, they're really simple. It's basically just made of plastic here um, with a matte black finish. Very lightly, and I'm not sure if you could see it on the camera, there's just this little RHJ logo here. Um, and then that's pretty much it. A little dot on the right one to indicate that it's the right earphone. Now the plastic housing feels durable and strong. It's also really easy to hold these in the hands, probably because of these little stems here. Um, and I'm not sure really their purpose other than I wonder if they contribute to the long battery life of these. They do hold five, hour ba uh, five hours of charge on the actual earphones and then with the charging case here you get an additional uh, 20 hours which is pretty great. Let's see how they fit in the ear because that's one thing I'm really curious about. I honestly personally with Truly Wireless in particular, I have a really hard time getting them to fit comfortably in the ear, but I wanna see how these ones feel. Well, right off the bat, they don't they don't feel too bad. Um, coming a little bit loose there. I'm gonna actually switch because they do come with foam tips and I was curious to try those out because um, I haven't seen any other Truly Wireless with foam, foam tips. Let's try to swap out the swap out the tips here. Now I'll give these a try. Oh yeah. These feel very secure now. Um, and yeah, something I really like is that the driver housings, like these actual ear pieces are super light. So they don't really, gravity doesn't want to like rip them out of my ears. Um, it feels really quite natural actually for me. Yeah, this is one of the best fitting uh, truly wireless that I've ever tried actually. So the biggest thing I'm really curious about with the RHA True Wireless is just in general how they function. Uh, I've noticed with a lot of truly wireless stuff that they just sort of are a little bit unreliable and I'm curious to see how the RHA stands up to other ones that I've tried. So I'm going to quickly see uh, if they connect easily and stuff. So I'm just going to press and hold the right one. I'm getting a little tone here. And now I'm pressing the left one and I'm getting a little beep that says I think they're connected to each other. I see the RHA True Connect in my Bluetooth devices on my phone. So now I'm just pressing that and it says it's connected. I got a little ding saying that it's, it is indeed connected. Let's see if it plays out of both. Yep, there it is. Really good sound. I'm excited to get into that with y'all. But anyway, I was really impressed with how kind of quickly and easily it connected. Another really nice thing, just sort of some basic stuff with the RHA True Connect. Um, it is sweat proof. So if you like to work out and you want a truly wireless earphone that you can work out with, these are going to be a really great option. I don't know of any other ones that do, maybe the PSB. Other than that, it connects via Bluetooth 5.0. So you get a really long uh, range with them. But yeah, I'm mostly excited to get into the listening portion of this, so let's see how they sound. Wow, I'm actually really quite impressed with the low end. Um, I was just listening to the song I'm Calling by Tennis, and the kick drum feels big and punchy. Um, 
This is definitely one of my favorite low ends of any truly uh, truly wireless earphone that I've heard. Uh, there's a little bit of cloudiness, for, but for the most part, it feels really punchy and like really good. Just comes through in a really emotionally, like it kind of grooves along with the song. So I, I'm really into that. Yes, uh, <laughs> I was just listening to the song Roosevelt Room by Connor Oberst, and yeah, this sounds super awesome. The mid-range is big. Uh, the electric guitars in that song sound really powerful uh, and full. The bass guitar definitely has a little bit of a boost to it, like it's louder in the mix and actually has better separation than normal uh, with the guitars there. Uh, I guess that means that there's a bit of a low mid boost there. Additionally, Connor's vocal feels like as it should in the mix. Um, plenty of presence, not too loud in the mix, just kind of feels like it should. Um, and then I am also getting a lot of nice kind of distortion crunch from those guitars that are there. And that kind of crunch combined with like a little bit of extra snappiness in the snare drum makes me think that there's a little bit of a high mid boost. Uh, but anyway, I like the mid range a lot. It sounds really great for rock. All right, uh, the high end is pretty interesting actually. I was just listening to the song Desperado by Rihanna. Uh, the hi-hat has a bit more crispiness um, and feels more accented than normal actually. Makes the hi-hats a bit higher in the mix. Additionally, Rihanna's voice has a nice sense of air to it. Uh, there's definitely a high frequency boost up there somewhere. That said, there's a little bit less texture in her voice than normal. Uh, indicating that there's a dip somewhere in the high end as well. Um, I'll definitely take a closer listen to that as time goes on. It's a really aesthetically pleasing high end and one that provides a lot of air. So especially in the synths as well in that song, when the wide synths comes in, definitely get like a nice sense of airiness to it. I like that. All right, yeah, the set for the sound stage, I was just listening to the song Kisas 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 by Pink Martini. Uh, and probably the most dramatic part of the sound stage is the sense of height because of the emphasis in the highs and then the emphasis in the lows. Um, the percussion in that song felt like, you know, dramatically up high. The upright bass in that song felt anchored right at the, at the bottom there. Um, and kind of, there's a really nice contrast between those two things. The, as for like the classical guitar and the strings and kind of the other instruments dancing around, there wasn't a whole lot of separation from them in terms of the depth, but they did feel really accurately placed in the left to right uh, area of it, like the horizontal domain. And likewise, there's a really strong sense of phantom center, so it feels really well matched for especially truly wireless. So yeah, overall I'm really impressed so far. I want to keep listening. Um, and keep playing with this a little bit to let you know kind of how it continues to perform and how it continues to sound as my ears get used to the sound and stuff. All right, so I will see you back at the Major Hi-Fi office for my overall thoughts. All right, here we go. Overall, the low frequencies have a little bit of a bump right around the fundamental of many kick drums. And as a result, kicks come through a little bit louder in the mix than normal and with extra punchiness. That little bump sort of makes a little bit of crowding in the lows, but it sounds really powerful and really fun for certain genres. Pop, hip hop, indie music, rock, all sound really awesome with these. It's less good for jazz and classical. The mid-range has a little bit of a low mid boost, and as a result, bass guitars, synths, electric guitars all come through with extra power. And they actually sometimes sit a little bit higher in the mix than normal. Additionally, the middle part of the mid-range is really full and even sounding, and as a result, instruments like guitars, strings, come through with a lot of harmonic complexity, and it really makes the mid-range sound really full. And then lastly, there is a high mid boost as well, so vocals tend to sit a little bit forward in the mix, and, uh, and additionally, it kind of brings the sound stage a bit forward. Uh, in space as well. As for the high frequencies, there's a boost in the lower treble which gives articulation to vocals and to attacks of drums and to strings. There is a little bit of a cut in the upper treble and this sort of relaxes a bit of the texture that you get from vocals or from 
you know, like electric guitar distortion and things like that. It's just a little bit relaxed. Lastly, there is a little bit of a higher octave boost and this kind of adds a sense of air to everything and it really gives vocals a lot of nice emotional impact when you can hear the breathiness of it um, and also just adds a really nice sense of height as well. Overall the sense of width with the RHA True Connect is really well done. There's a solid sense of phantom center and it contrasts really nicely to things that are panned out to the sides. It doesn't feel overly expansive or anything, but it does feel well done, especially for a wireless set of earphones. Additionally, as I sort of mentioned, because of the low frequency boost and then the high frequency boost, there is a really nice sense of detailed height and the contrast between the things that are really high and then the things that are holding, thing, holding it down in the center and anchored down below. Uh, feels really nice and spacious. As one might expect, the sense of depth with these isn't super deep and it's a little bit crowded, but I find that to be true with a lot of wireless earphones and headphones anyway. That said, because the mid-range is so full, um, reverbs and room mics come through with a lot of clarity. So if mixes utilize those types of things to create a sense of space, then it actually comes through really well. Overall, the RHA True Connect is one of my favorite truly wireless earphones that I've tried. It seems to be super well functioning. Phone calls sound really clear, good battery life. They fit in the ear really well. And they also connect to my phone super easily. Uh, additionally, it has a great sound, works best for hip hop, pop, rock, uh, indie music, anything that needs a strong mid range. It's not great for like, uh, classical or jazz, something that needs like more of a flat response, but it has a really fun character to it that I think a lot of people will really enjoy and find aesthetically pleasing. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out another perspective on the RHA True Connect, be sure to check out the link in the description box to the Major Hi-Fi blog, where I've linked to my colleague's review of the same earphones. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.